Hey, TAC fans, AJ here. I'm going to show some of the capabilities we're getting from the Fibers program from Cal OES. These polygons you see here on the map are as it comes in as a KML network link. So as the Fibers program, in this case, Intel 12, makes a lap on the Mosquito Fire and grabs Intel, they're able to, pu they're able to publish this um, KML network link. So I'm able to see fire growth as it happens. You can see a couple TAC users here. On the map, you've got uh, El Dorado National Forest engine and then the Cal OES user up near um, the northwest side of the fire. And then there's Intel 12. We're picking up on the ADSB. So again, they're flying around. They're, they're creating perimeters. They're publishing, and we're able to bring them into ATAC. I can then bring in the ops map for the day. So let's bring in the Mosquito ops map. And now I'm able to have even a little bit more intel. You can see, you know, when they publish this map, this is where the fire was. And if you've done any sort of GIS or situation unit leader, you know at some point you need to print the map and you need to take the best available data that you have because printing and processing takes time. And so you can see this is where it was. They used a virus born perimeter to create that map. You can tell by the fire line symbology. But since then, since they printed that map, um, Firus has flown again multiple times, about two times, and they've created um, um, these uh, perimeters. So now you can see growth from where the last known location was from where um, they printed this map or published it to where it is now. And you can see it's made um, quite, some, quite some headway towards uh, the south and also towards uh, the northeast. All right, so the last bit um, is the geospatial video. So Intel 12 has been doing um, some broadcasting through the GeoFocus app, um, just some standard video. Uh, we're able to pipe that into ATAC and bring in the geospatial properties. So not only will you see where the see the video, you also see where the aircraft is, the slant angle, and the position of the sensor on the ground. So let me click on the Intel 2.4 here and hit the play button. This takes a little, a few seconds, uh, up to a minute to connect um, to the server and start broadcasting um, the position of the aircraft, the slant angle, and the sensor on the ground. What you will notice is that the ADSB, here's the ADSB marker. So we're getting that from commercial vendor ADSB exchange it's about four seconds behind where the actual aircraft is now we're getting live position of the aircraft and then also the sensor where the sensor is on the ground so now you can you can see um, where it's looking at actually on the map and have some reference points if I was wanted to make a um, you know save this spot as a special interest I can hit the SPI and just drop a marker and now that marker is dropped on the map and you can see it there as they fly away that marker will stay there i can also lock on the spi as well so i can choose to you know keep um, that sensor point of interest in lock step um, with the map as they fly around so again this is just one of the great things that atac does for situational awareness you know, I've got the ops map produced by the incident. I've got other TAC users. I've got this, you know, El Dorado National Forest engine out here who is one of the test, uh, Region 5 test forests for ATAC. And I've got an OAS user using TAC. And I've got the Firus aircraft also bringing in this great, the, this, this symbology and uh, this super rich in context video um, on, onto the map. So I hope this was beneficial, kind of explaining, um, you know, all the great things that um, the OES program, the FIRES program brings um, into ATAC and how ATAC really kind of makes all of it shine. Thanks for watching.